In other news, a commissioner at the National Development Planning Commission has bemoaned the lack of coordination in Ghana's efforts at fighting malnutrition. Professor Ajima Mbedu Akosa therefore called on all stakeholders to show more commitment to collectively achieve set targets. He was speaking at the launch of the Cost of Hunger in Africa Ghana report in Accra. A signatory to a number of conventions targeted at tackling malnutrition, and there is the need for multi-sectorial approach to prioritize all developmental programs from community to national level. According to a commissioner at the NDPC, Professor Ajman Bedua Kosa, Ghana's efforts to meet its target is faced with insufficient human resource, lack of financial, logistics, and technical resources, which continue to undermine NDPC's leadership role. Is the launch of a draft national nutrition policy which is still under review by NDPC, by the Nutrition Department of the Ghana Health Service, with the connivance of UNICEF, without the knowledge of NDPC, even though they've been part of all the meetings that have gone on previously. And this is a clear case of pitching one government agency against another. Meanwhile, the ministries of Health, Finance and Agriculture have pledged government's commitment to scale up efforts at tackling malnutrition. Government have made conscious effort to protect vulnerable groups with interventions uh, that have to do with um, uh, subsidies at the production end and in certain cases subsidizing uh, the markets so that food prices can be uh, affordable uh, to all. We are putting some effort in, I think we, first of all, taking the efforts that we are putting into scale. But two quick things that we can do, we can galvanize support to elevate nutrition in the national development agenda and implement nutrition programs to scale. And then we can create the enabling environment for planning, resourcing, and delivery of services. Deputy Minister of Finance, Muna Koti, said the economy was facing some challenges, but assured of more support towards health financing. The current fiscal challenges, driven by both external and domestic factors, have narrowed the fiscal space considerably to tackle head-on the issues revealed through the study that you so kindly showed us today. When the fiscal position improves, and even as it is improving, we are making sure that we don't lose sight and allow any of these things to get lost in the cracks. 